All right, everyone, welcome to Phoenix. Mitch Robinson and uh, joined with Reggie Rose, Derek's brother. And uh, we've got to talk first, uh, before we even get to your brother, for, for you and the family, Derek said it was special to have about 13 of you guys come out here. Has it been fun? Yes, it, it, it's been great. You know, it's a real great experience. And just to be here and just see my whole family, when they just came inside the hotel, me and Derek, it was just put smiles on our faces and stuff like that. But so far, it's just been real delightful. You know, I, I, Derek's always talked about how instrumental you were in his upbringing and keeping him in, in the straight and narrow. Um, you got to be proud knowing that, uh, uh, first, uh, what strong young man he is and that uh, what he's been able to accomplish, not only on the court, but in his whole world in the last, what, 24 months. Yeah, so Derek, uh, he, he just have understanding. He, he's a great listener. You know, he pays attention to detail. And also, uh, our, um, our upbringing with our mom has just really been instrument, instrumental to, you know, the whole family, me, Derek, my older brother, Dwayne, and Alan, you know, and it's just, it's just like a family of love, you know, and the way we did things, some people kind of like, didn't like the way we did it as a family, but it paid out the right way, you know. How, how young were you when you started realizing that, um, you know, uh, you, to protect your family, you, you, you guys really do have to be there right over their shoulder and everything. At what age did you start taking on that responsibility to help out and to, to make sure? Or was that your mom telling you guys, look out for your youngers? Well, it's basically, uh, we all went to college and I was, I was the last boy that that everybody said had a chance to, you know, make an earning of playing basketball, you know. So I had to bump in abuses of, you know, doing, doing, making bad decisions in my life and just seeing Derek when he was in seventh grade and just looking at him and just saying, you know, if he keep his head on straight, it's a chance, you know, and the era Derek was coming out, you had kids coming out of high school. You know, when I came out, kids wasn't that talented to come out of high school. So, you know, just seeing that in Derek and just keeping his head on straight and him listening to family and everything, it gave him the opportunity to where he is now today. Dwayne Wade said to me yesterday, I asked him what's so special about Chicago kids and why there's so many guys in the league that are from Chicago. And he says, because you're mentally tougher when you guys get out of uh, playing in Chicago as kids. You guys are strong mentally first and also very talented. Uh, can you describe what, what, what is it? What, what makes a Chicago kid so good, so well adjusted when he gets out there? Well, it, it, it's your upbringing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just. Um, just being humble and settled and just, and I think most Chicago kids, you know, growing up and being raised in the Inglewood area is more like you appreciate what you have. So when we used to come home and we smell our mom cooking, we ate that meal like it was our last meal, you know, so we appreciated that meal. So now today, you know, we could go probably to any top steakhouse in the country, but it's more of just going in the ice box and just fixing just a little deli sandwich and some chips, it's, it's, it's okay with us. It don't bother us. And uh, also when, when, when more family members come over and friends come over, it's not more of like, well, we don't eat this no more. We don't drink this no more. It's more it's just what you see in the Rose family is what you get. What are your dreams? Everyone's always asking about your brother and everything. What, what do you hope for? What do you hope to see happen? You know, it's so crazy. I, I really haven't even thought about that yet. It was just, it was just like, the last six years been a journey, mm -hmm. getting them here to this point, and right now is it's still a journey because he's young, he's not 21 years old yet, you know, and there's still a lot of bad things that's surrounding him. So it's basically me trying to get him grounded first. Then once I get him grounded first, then I kind of figure out, you know, what I want to do. But I know it's going to be inside the basketball field, maybe agent-wise, agency-wise, or just representing players. So that's what I think. I know that when my, my, my mom calls me, you know, she gets on the website right away. Hey, I saw that. And, and it gives me a special feeling, you know, she's getting joy out of it. When you watch your mom and, she's, and, she, and you see her just taking it all in, how does that make you feel inside? It's got to be great. Oh, man. Uh, when Derek first played, opened up the first game at the United Stadium, uh, we, has a, we have a suite there. So the family comes in the suite, so they all run to the seats, the kids. So I just sit to the back and just watch my family, just watch the joy. And when they just call Derek's name, it's just like, and I'm looking at my mom and everybody, and we all look, and it's like everybody just teared up. That's great. You know, it was just, a, it was just an emotional night. You know, it's, it's a night to saying that he made it, but at the same time, in the back of my head, we like, I'm like, hey, he, he, that's just, just one game. Let's try to keep coming and watching these games for the next 10 years. So that's the goal. 
Oh, man, you've done a great job, and it's been a pleasure to get to know Derek and yourself and your family. I I'm glad you guys are having a good time, and hopefully uh, within a year or so we're at the NBA Finals and we're talking about the same thing. Yes, that do sound great, NBA Finals.